Kumusta na kayo mga kids? Congratulations! Tayo ngayon ay nasa week 8 na. At ito ang ating last topic. Comparing, arranging, and rounding decimal numbers to the nearest whole number and tenths. Alina kayo, samahan niyo ako sa last topic nito para sa quarter 2, grade 4 mathematics. In your previous lesson, you learned how to round up whole numbers as well as to compare which number is greater or lesser. This time, learn to compare decimal number as well as to round up decimal number to the nearest tenths or nearest whole number. In this lesson, you are expected to round up decimal numbers to the nearest whole number and tens as well as to compare and arrange decimal numbers. Using the number line, observe how the decimal number rounded up to the nearest tens and nearest whole number. By looking at the number line, you will notice that 2 and 46 hundreds is still nearest to number 2. Dan number three. Example two. Round up two and forty-six hundreds to the nearest whole number. The digit two, whole number to be rounded off. Then the digit four. Four is less than five. Round down. Maintain two and ignore four and six. Thus, two and forty-six hundreds rounded up to the nearest whole number is two. Example two. Round up two and forty-six hundreds. To the nearest tens, the digit four place value to be rounded off. Then six, six is greater than five. Round up. Add one to four. Ignore the rest of the digit. Thus. Two and forty-six rounded up to the nearest tenths is two and five tenths. How do you compare decimal numbers? A place value chart can help you compare two decimal numbers. Look at the examples below. The ones digits are the same. They are both two and equal. The tens digits are also the same. They are both four tens and equal. The hundreds digits are not the same. The value of six is six hundreds, and the value of nine is nine hundreds. Nine is more than six, so. Two and forty-six hundreds is less than two and forty-nine hundreds. In symbol, two and forty-six hundreds less than two and forty-nine hundreds. You can also arrange decimal numbers from least to greatest or greatest to least. Study the examples below and observe the arrangement. Example. Ating arrange ng least to greatest. Unang tingnan ang mga whole numbers. Dahil para pareho silang zero, sunod na nating tingnan ay ang tens. 
at ang may pinakamaliit na digit, yun ang mauna sa ating sequence. So, 5 tenths, 6 tenths, 7 tenths, at ang greatest ay ang 9 tenths. Paano naman sa greatest to least? Una mo uling tingnan ang whole numbers. Dahil para pareho muli sila, sunod mong tingnan ay ang place value ng tenths. Inyong mapapansin, para pareho uli silang 2, sumunod nating tingnan ay ang place value ng hundreds. At ang may pinakamalaki, siya ang mauna sa ating sequence. Kaya naman, 28 hundreds, 25 hundreds, 24 hundreds, at ang may pinakamaliit ay ang 23 hundreds. Learning Task 1 Round off the following decimal numbers to the nearest tenths. Write your answer on your notebook. For number 1, 15 hundreds. At ang tenths place ay ang 1. Dahil ang katabi niya ay 5, magra-round up tayo. So ang 1, dadagdagan natin ng isa, at ito ay magiging 2. Kaya ang ating sagot, 2 tenths. Ganon din sa number 2. Dahil ang katabi niya sa kanan ay 8, kapag 5 or more than 5, tayo ay magra-round up or plus 1. Kaya, ang magiging sagot din natin ay 2 tenths. Para sa 6 to 10, ating sagutan ng number 6 and 7. For number 6, 2 and 72 hundreds. Ang tenths place ay ang 7. Since ang katabi niya sa kanan ay 2, round down tayo at ito ang magiging sagot, 2 and 7 tenths. Yung nasa kaliwa ng 7, dapat ay atin ding itong ilagay. Para sa number 7, 24 hundreds. I-round up natin sa nearest tenths at ito ay 2, ang katabi niya ay 4, mas mababa sa 5. Round down at ang magiging sagot natin ay 2 tenths. For number 11 to 15, let us answer number 11 and 12. For number 11, 9 hundreds at 0 ang nasa tenths place. I-round off natin since ang katabi niya ay 9, tayo ay magdadagdag ng isa at ito ay round up. Kaya naman ang sagot ay 1 ten. For number 12, ang tenths place ay 0. Ang nasa kanan niya ay 7. More than 5. So round up. And 0 become 1. So the answer is 1 and 1 ten. For learning task 2, round up the following decimal numbers to the nearest whole number. Write your answer in your notebook. For number 1 to 5, let us answer 1 and 2. For number 1, 8 and 15 hundreds. I-round up natin sa nearest whole number at ang whole number na yun ay 8. Tingnan ang kanyang katabi na 1. Since 1 ito, Round down. So, ang 8 ay mananatiling 8. So, the answer is 8. For number 2, 98 hundreds. Ang whole number ay 0. Since ang katabi niya ay 9, round up, ang 0 ay magiging 1. So, the answer is 1. For 6 to 10, let us answer 6 and 7. Number 6, 1 and 72 hundreds. Ang whole number ay 1. Tingnan ang nasa kanan niya. At ito ay 7. Since ito ay 7, round up, ang 1 ay magiging 
2. For number 7, 74 hundreds. Ang whole number ay 0. Ang nasa kanan niya ay 7. So, mas mataas sa 5. Round up uli. At ang 0 ay magiging 1. So, the answer is 1. For 11 to 15, number 11, 7 and 19 hundreds. Ang whole number ay 7. Since ang katabi niya ay 1, round down. So, 7 is still 7. For number 12, 9 and 67 hundreds. Ang digit na 9, ang whole number. Since ang katabi niya ay 6, round up, plus 1 sa 9, 9 becomes 10. So, the answer is 10. For learning task 3, fill in the blanks with the correct symbol, less than, greater than, and equal. Write your answer in your notebook. For number 1 to 3, let us answer number 1. 8 and 15 hundreds, blank, 8 and 19 hundreds. Una mong tingnan ang 1's place, pareho silang 8. Sunod na tingnan ang 10's place, pareho silang 1. Sunod na tingnan ang 5 at 9, ito ay ang 100's place. So, mas maliit ang 5. So, the answer is less than. Para naman sa 4 to 6, let us answer number 4. 74 hundreds blank 87 hundreds. Unang tingnan ng whole number, pareho silang 0. Sunod na tingnan ang tens place, 7 and 8. Mas maliit ang 7 kaysa sa 8, kaya ang sagot natin ay less than. For number 7 to 9, 43 and 70 hundreds, lang 43 and 7 hundreds. Unang tingnan ng whole number, pareho silang 43. Sunod na tingnan ang tens place. Ang nasa kalawa ay 7, ang nasa kanan ay 0. So, mas malaki ang 7, kaya ang sagot natin ay greater than. For learning task 4, arrange the following decimal numbers from least to greatest. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 1, 3, let us answer number 1. 8 and 15 hundreds, 8 and 19 hundreds, 8 and 51 hundreds, 8 and 91 hundreds. Unang tingnan ang ones place o will number. Since para pareho silang 8, equal. Sunod na tingnan ang 2 digits. Since para pareho silang 2 decimal places, Alin ang may pinakamaliit na decimal places? At iyon ang 8 and 15 hundreds. Papalaki, sunod ang 8 and 19 hundreds. Sunod ang 8 and 51 hundreds. At ang huli ay 8 and 91 hundreds. For number 4 to 6, 9 hundreds, 5 hundreds, 8 tenths, and 6 tenths. Unang tingnan ng whole number dahil para pareho silang 0. Sunod na tingnan ang tens place. Inyong mapapansin, dalawa ang 0, ang digit sa tens place. Kaya sunod na tingnan ay ang hundreds place. At ang may pinakamaliit ay ang 5 hundreds. Sunod ang 9 hundreds at ang sumunod ay ang 6 tenths and 8 tenths. For learning task 5, arrange the following decimal numbers from greatest to least. Write your answer in your notebook. So for number 1 to 3, let us arrange 3 and 15 hundreds 
3 and 19 hundreds, 3 and 51 hundreds, 3 and 91 hundreds, from greatest to least. Dahil para-para silang 3 sa kanilang whole number, sunod na tingnan ay ang 1s and tens place. Makikita mo naman kung alin ang may pinakamalaking 2 decimal places. So, so ang pinakamalaki ay ang 3 and 91 hundreds, mapaliit, 3 and 51 hundreds, 3 and 19 hundreds, at ang pinakamaliit ay ang 3 and 15 hundreds. For number 4 to 6, let us answer number 4, 9 hundreds, 5 hundreds, 8 tenths, and 6 tenths. Arrange those from greatest to least. Dahil para pareho yung number ay 0, sunod na tingnan ay ang tens place. At ang pinakamalaki ay ang 8 tenths. 6 tenths ang sumunod. Sa dalawang natitira, tingnan ang kanilang hundreds place. At ang susunod ay ang 9 hundreds at ang pinakamaliit ay ang 500s. For learning task 6, fill in the blanks with the correct answer. Write your answer in your notebook. For number 1, round off 41 and 6900 to the nearest tenths is So, ang nearest tenths, ang nasa tenths place ay ang 6. Itingin ka sa kanan niya na 9, so more than 5, round up, 6 becomes 7. So the answer is letter C, 41 and 7 tenths. For number 2, 2 and 82 hundreds rounded to the nearest whole number. Ang whole number ay 2. Tumingin ka sa kanan niya, dito ay 8. Dahil more than 5, round up, it becomes 3. So, the answer is 3. Maraming salamat at sinamahan niyo akong matapos mula week 1 hanggang week 8 ang ating grade 4 math. At muli, samahan niyo ako sa susunod nating quarter, ang quarter 3. Sa ngayon, Paalam muna hanggang sa susunod. God bless you.